Welcome to this Witch City Collector presentation. I'm Paul, and today you can see I've got the Lego Buckingham Palace out because it's my diecast tribute to Queen Elizabeth II, who died recently, and the day this video premieres is the day of her state funeral. And we're going to look at a smattering of British vehicles from historically British brands. I know some of them, some of the modern vehicles are actually, you know, some of them are owned by Volkswagen, some of them are owned by, I think, Tata Motors in India. But... You don't want to grab a drink for this one because it could be a long one. Sit back. I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We'll push Buckingham Palace to the background. And we'll get to the die cast if I move these stupid Audis. Here we go. Maxim maximize the space. Forgive my arms. And we'll get into the cars. We got starting out with a Corgi, June, Corgi made in Great Britain Rover 3500 in blue with the opening hatch. We're not going to spend too long on the cars because we've got tons to go through. Then we've got a Matchbox Cage from Superlight. Take it down. I don't have to hold on to them. Matchbox Cage from Superlight. Condition. We've got a 63 Austin Healy. Moving on to Lotus, we have a 2108 Lotus. Doesn't say what by Matchbox. A Lotus Exige 2006 by Hot Wheels. Excuse me, by Matchbox. And another Matchbox in Lotus. The Lotus Europa Special from 1972. I didn't dig out any of the really old, m many of the really old Lesney cars because, well, it's kind of hard to dig out everything. I probably could have found some more if I looked further, further afield, but it is what it is. It's the night now, the 19th, now we're on Aston Martin, the 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 in a beautiful green. A Hot Wheels, oh, that's wrong, wrong, Hot Wheels. Aston Martin Vantage GT3. I believe this is a Target Red Edition Aston Martin Vulcan. In red, obviously, because the Red Edition. The McLe oh, nope, nope. Uh, still one more. One more. That's it for Aston Martin. I don't even know. I don't even remember how I put them, I put them out. And we've got two. Bentley, the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. In blue, uh, in blue. In white with beautiful lime green highlights. And a Bentley Continental Super Sport. In white with black parts. Two McLarens. The McLaren Senna. In an interesting blue color. And a McLaren F1 GTR in McLaren Racing. Moving on to what are we going to do next? We're going to do our Jaguars. Starting off with the Ma vintage Matchbox SS100 Jaguar convertible uh, Roadster. Not too bad condition. I like it. But a Lesney Matchbox made in England Jaguar F type, I assume the E type. E type. And we have the modern Matchbox 65th anniversary Sapphire Gem E type. The Hot Wheels Jaguar XJ220 and an awesome turquoise. A modern 50, uh, 15 Jaguar F-Type Coupe by Matchbox. But I always say Matchbox, nobody beats Matchbox in the dollar car range, in the, in the you know, realism, Tampa where you need them, no goofy, not, a lot of, not a lot of goofy stuff. And I know the Jaguar, the Jaguar XV, S, XE XV Project 8 in all black. It gets murdered out, if you will. We'll move these further back. Make sure I don't move. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't push that button under there. Oh, I'm going to have to get that later. Should have had my Matchbox Collector button out because that's from the, I believe it's the English era. We have one, uh, no, we're going to go with 
Some more Lesney match blocks. We have the Guy Warrior tractor. Major pack number eight, the Guy Warrior car transport. In the Farn Farnborough Mearsham car auction collection, which I had to replace one tire. I had to take a tire off of a different model, paint it gray. You don't know which one's which. I'm gonna park this to the side. One last, I believe it's one last Lesney, one last, uh, no, not one last vintage Lesney, but one more in the vintage Lesney. One of the oddball brand, one of the oddball mix, Opal Diplomat in gold. What I, was gonna, what I was gonna get at before this, the one car that's not British, but is an iconic British livery, the 21 Model, Model T Ford in Burns Custard, which I think everybody that's got a Matchbox collection probably has had at least one of these in their collection. Not just the, not just the uh, Model T, or the, the, but the Burns Custard. Another oddball, uh, oddball British vehicle, because it has British flags on it. The Matchbox Super Fast number 72. Uh, I can't make that out. The Hovercraft. Interesting. Then we're going to go into a couple of larger scales. Then we'll move into the iconic cars of England. We have a Matchbox Era Dinky MGB GT in red, which you've probably seen on the channel before. Featured numerous times. Great. 143rd scale model. We have a very old vintage Dinky Toys Daimler Ambulance. See the Dinky Toys Daimler Ambulance, McConnell Limited, in original condition, I believe. I'm certainly not going to touch it. We are we're a collector here. We're not restorers. No fault. No no problem with anyone that, that restores, but we don't. At most, we clean the stuff. We're going to the iconic of iconic British vehicles. The Mini. This is a 143rd scale by D'Agostini. Then we have the Matchbox Mini Haha. -ha. I should have actually led with a different I should have actually led with the next one. The most iconic of minis in all of pop culture and all of the world. One driven by one Mr. Bean. Notable by the lime green and black, lime green with the black hood. This is, I believe, the original, actually, this is the original release before it had Mr. Bean licensing. Then we have the Matchbox Racing Mini, which has seen very better days. Faded, sun faded paint and melted windows. But I ain't gonna touch it. How much more iconic can you get for a race, for a race delivery than the Hot Wheels Morris Mini with Union Jack on the hood? Excuse me, on the roof. The, uh, is it going to brand? The no-name brand might be, I don't know which. Where's Mini? Mini Cooper in cream. The premium version of the Hot Wheels Morris Mini from Forza Motorsports. Beep, 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 beep. I don't even have beep. Backup beeps. And the Matchbox, excuse me, the Hot Wheels 67 Austin minivan in, I don't know what, it might be Led Zeppelin, I think it's Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin set. One I forgot is an iconic, but it's a mini. It's an Austin Mini Metro by Corgi, Corgi Juniors, the opening doors. Doors have, doors have uh, seen better days, but the car itself is fairly mint. On to one of the queen, uh, one of the cars that probably ferried the queen around quite a bit, Rolls Royce. I don't know for the Olesny Matchbox Series number 24, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow in red, the regular wheels, and its super fast counterpart. And a Rolls Royce a Silver Shadow, excuse me, Silver Cloud, that was a Silver Shadow in white. Next, we've got our Land Rover department. We have the Lesney Matchbox Land Rover Safari number 12, in the original blue. And we have a Corgi Land Rover tow truck. A Land Rover Series 3 pickup. 
in brown. The 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab in matte black and dirt. The Matchbox Super Fast Land Rover 90, one of my favorite castings as a kid. The Hot Wheels version of the Land Rover 90 in green because British Racing Green is, or green cars in England seem to be iconic. You know, British Racing Green, and that's not anywhere near it. We have the all blacked out premium version of that Defender 90 from the Fast and Furious. I believe this may also be a, I don't know which series this is from, the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop in sort of a army green, but it wouldn't have the Defender on the side. And the Hot Wheel, uh, excuse me, Matchbox 75 Land, uh, Range Rover moving parts from this year in mustard yellow. And this is the, can't tell. It is the right hooker, the right hand drive, so it's perfect for England. Last but not least, we have the iconic of iconic vehicles of England. Whoa. We've got some buses, some double-decker buses. Starting off with the oldest, the London trolley bus. Oh, actually, no, the oldest would be this one, which we've shown on, shown on the channel before. The 1912 to 1920 B-type bus, Lesney Matchbox, and the London trolley bus, Lesney Matchbox. And a no-name brand, which doesn't roll very well, Double Decker Bus in Cadbury's Milk Chocolate livery. And a well-beaten Matchbox Double Decker London Bus in Union Jack Tours. But we're not done. Even though I know this is a, a very, very popular car in England. It's the Corgi Jr.'s version of the London Taxi. Not to scale with the buses. The Hot Wheels version of that London Taxi casting from when they bought the Corgi brand. I know they didn't come in yellow, but that's how Hot Wheels did it in the main in the mainline release. I believe it was black in a special set. The Matchbox version of that iconic London Taxi. And the bane of everyone's existence because it came two or three to a case and were released at least twice. The LEVC TX Taxi which is the modern British taxi, electric taxi, by Matchbox. And this has been my English car, di uh, English diecast tribute to the life of Queen Elizabeth II. As always, I thank you for watching. If you stuck around this long, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, God save the king. Goodbye.